There are many ways to serve this seafood. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchWatcher.com. And today we're at restaurant La Réunion to learn how to make Mediterranean baked oysters. What are some popular ways to serve oysters? Raw, great, just on the half shelf without anything. Then dress it as you like with the lemon, little mini net, which is a classic French accompaniment there, vinegar and shallots, horseradish. Cooked oysters are immensely popular, especially throughout the South. Steamed oysters, grilled oysters, um, there's tons of ways to do oysters. Now we'll be seeing a baked oyster dish. Could you tell us more about it? Well, Chef Marco is a great chef and definitely influenced by his Portuguese background. So today we're going to be doing one of our own sort of style of Portuguese cooked oysters. There's going to be a little chorizo, there's going to be some cooking cream, there's going to be roasted peppers, a little bit of corn topped off with some breadcrumbs. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful, rich complement to an oyster that I'm going to choose that has enough flavor to really counteract all those flavors. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. I'm with the head chef, amazing chef, Marco Santos. How are you, Marco? Very good, and you? Great. We're going to do some oysters today? Amazing oysters. We're going to start with shallots and uh, chorizo in a pan with hot olive oil and uh, caramelize them for about a minute. The second step, we're gonna add the grilled corn and the roasted peppers. So everything's uh, cooking all together. We're uh, maximizing the flavors of the dish. We're gonna put about 250 milliliters of uh, white wine. We're gonna have to let it reduce until it's almost dry. All right, so the white wine, it's uh, completely reduced. So now we're gonna add the cooking cream. We're gonna add about the same thing, 250 milliliters of cooking cream, 35%. And the same thing, we're gonna let it reduce, not completely though, but it has to thicken up a little bit. So we're gonna let it cook for about a minute, a minute and a half. It smells very good, it looks amazing. So now it's ready. At the end, we, what we do, we add the fresh herbs, which is uh, fresh thyme and chives. And there you go, we're ready to bake the oysters. Now I've chosen some oysters that are nice and full and big and because uh, I know that his dish is going to be uh, have a lot of big flavors in it. It's going to have like the sausage, it's going to have the wine, the cream. So these oysters are, are nice and meaty and they're going to be able to stand up uh, to sort of that, that flavor and complement it as well. So they're not going to get lost. If you have a small oyster and you put all this sauce on top of it, you're going to lose the oyster. Okay. So the other thing you can do is when you're baking your oysters, put a little salt under it. You're just going to sit nicely right on those so that you don't lose any of that amazing, amazing sauce. Now that the mix is on the oysters, we're gonna add the blue cheese on top. We're gonna finish the recipe with the fresh breadcrumbs, with fresh herbs, and fresh garlic that we mix all together. What kind of herbs do you put in your, uh, in your breadcrumbs? There was, it's parsley and chives. Oh, nice. Basically, with a little bit of olive oil. Now we're gonna bake the oysters at 450 in the oven for about between four and five minutes. It depends uh, on your oven, obviously, but it'll take about four or five minutes and it'll be ready to eat. 